Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about are there too many Linux distributions? Now, if you follow my channel long enough, you know I generally don't care as much about the fragmentation of Linux as some people do. I think that if there is a lot of different choices, then it keeps Linux more honest. It prevents corporate interests from taking over. For example, people say, just we should just have one Linux distribution. Let's like make it Ubuntu. Do you really want one corporate interest who's teaming up with Facebook and Microsoft to really be the ones commanding Linux? That's insane. And this is why fragmentation is good. But the reason I wanted to address this today is a lot of people recently have recommended I look at a number of different distributions. And I did actually try and have a look at all these. And I cannot get pretty much any of these things to run right, if at all. And that raises itself a question where are a lot of distributions coming out that they're just not completed, they just didn't have enough behind them, or they weren't quality control tested enough. And this really is ultimately what the problem is. So I like the fact that there's a lot of different options. I'm not completely against Ubuntu. There is a purpose and a reason for a more corporate type Linux distribution, and it keeps things moving along quite nicely. But there's also a lot that can be said for a Linux Mint, who is much more independent, or a Fedora, or an OpenSUSE, even though I'm, their politics is oftentimes crazy and weird. Um, I like seeing a variety of these different distributions, particularly those who put a lot into making sure their distributions work and are done right. So I don't care that there's a lot of distributions. And off the top of my head, I can name a lot of distributions to go for. Maybe I'm running Endeavor OS. I run Manjaro on some of my systems. I'm running Linux Mint. Ubuntu's not bad, although I don't generally run it. Zorin, likewise, very good. Uh, Farron OS, very good. Uh, MX Linux, I run that on some other devices. Very good. These are all good Linux distributions, and there's plenty more out there. Fedora, OpenSUSE. These distributions are good, and they work. And overall, having about a dozen to two dozen really good distributions for options is really good. But then what started to happen is we start just seeing so many distributions. So uh, just having a look at DistroWatch, of course, the top um, the top distributions listed here. MX Linux, I run that. I run Endeavor. Oh, look at that. The top four I actually run. Pop OS, very good. Ubuntu, Debian. Uh, Garuda. So I did a video on this recently, and I called it probably one of the best Linux distributions uh, for Arch, Arch distributions. Um, I'm going to rescind that. The reason is I tried to actually do another video looking at multimedia projects, and I could not get any media to play on it. So here we have this installed distribution that basically nothing worked. And I fought with it for quite a while and I still have not resolved it. I said, screw it, let's wipe it. And I think I went with Zorin for that video, which is still in the works. But Garuda, it looked really good on the front end, but I just couldn't get any multimedia to work. Elementary, that's an interesting one because with elementary, I see what they're trying to do. It's not bad in the QA sense. I just think that their developers are mad. I just, they're crazy. Um, sitting there and putting warnings on very respectable open source applications because they're not specifically curated for their store. That reeks of the elitism that we don't need in the Linux community. We have Fedora, Zorin, OpenSUSE, KDE Neon, technically not a distribution, but it's a training ground. Solace is good. Um, Antics, uh, I've done some negative criticisms on Antics in the past. Of course, uh, same distributor as MX Linux, uh, and I do like MX Linux. Arch is good. Linux Lite is pretty good. Slackware, I can't say I've actually used. Ardix Deepin. Uh, Deepin at least works. I disagree with a lot of its direction, um, but for the most part, it works. It has bad EULAs and a lot of uh, negative consequences. And then we have things like uh, Kali Linux, which are very specific in what they're trying to do. So pen testing, and there's a few of those. We have Puppy and Sparky, of course. But then what we start to see as we start looking through, um, we have Emma Buntis, which 
is good, but I've always looked at it and thought it was a little bit too bloated at times. There's just so many applications in there. And I guess if its purpose is to introduce people to a lot of different Linux software, that can be okay. But still, it doesn't seem to have as much of the polish as I'd like. The distro that I tried to play around with, which gave me this idea, is this XTix here, which came out and not a brand new distribution. It is based on Deepin. Oh, so it has the deep and it basically is deep and with extra stuff. But the problem I had with it, um, obviously deep and requires like 64 gigs to install of a hard drive. Are you insane? Um, so I didn't even want to spin it up for that reason. Uh, but even booting into the live key. So this is designed to be like a live key with uh, easy to use um, persistent drives and things like this. The challenge I had is when you boot it up, I just get this key ring unlock and it wants a password. And their documentation suggests the root password is just root. Tried it. Nothing. Tried Linux. Nothing. Tried XTix. Nothing. Basically, this key ring keeps on popping up and it wants me to fulfill it. And I have no idea what it is. And there's nothing in the documentation about it. And then there is another, um, I think it's the, the USB creator. If you accidentally click the thing, you can't kill it. It just keeps on coming back to life. You close it, it pops back up, it pops back up, and then this re-triggers the key ring. So basically the entire distribution completely lacks quality control. And I've encountered this on more and more distributions lately um, where... Uh, some of the distributions people have suggested I have a look at in videos. I had them uh, listed up here and I can't seem to find that sticky note right now. But I think one of them was like Phoenix Linux couldn't get that to work. Uh, some of them just seem abandoned. That one didn't I didn't find any real information other than a uh, an ISO file, which looked pretty old. I think that was the one I can't remember. But a lot of people suggested I look at a number of different distributions via email or in live chats or things like that. And I actually did look into a lot of these and I just found just piles and piles of crap. And that really is where we're getting at with saying, are there now becoming too many Linux distributions where people are like, well, I want my own distribution too. And so you spin up your own distribution, but you don't test it well. You don't quality control it. It's like somebody who creates their own website for themselves. Uh, speaking from somebody, I, I've been doing professional web development for over a decade now. And so I can always tell a website that somebody built themselves because it just doesn't work on the majority of devices. They're like, well, it looks fine to me. Well, yeah, but you didn't test it on a battery of web browsers in a variety of different circumstances. That's something that a professional will do that you may not do, which is why your users say it doesn't work and you and just absolutely insist that it completely does. And that's the type of thing that we start to see where your particular hardware might work on a small distribution where is this going to throw a lot of errors on a lot of other people? And when we start littering these different distributions into the world, when there are just too many of them, obviously we have dozens and dozens of good distributions with a lot of backing and support behind them. And so with that being said, maybe we should just be sticking to some of the major ones. And then the question becomes, what are the major distributions? Like I said, I like me some Arch and even just a, a little bit into uh, into the uh, the specializations, Endeavor, um, Arca, Linux, Manjaro's, uh, things like this, which give Arch a little bit more polish. Of course, we have our Debian, Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, Zorin, Farin. You know, uh, Solus, MX Linux, these are, these are good distributions which have a lot of support behind them. They have huge community followings. But when we find all these distributions that are very small, they don't have a little, lot of following. And oftentimes it's just some other distribution with a few other things added on top of it. If we're not bringing something legitimate to the table, maybe don't bring it to the table at all. That's just a thought. Rather than be like, oh, I have my own Linux distribution, have a look. Maybe we should not be focusing on that as much as 
making sure to hone in on the dozens of distributions we have that do work or that have a lot of community support. So that's kind of my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts on all these are in the comments. Uh, this just kind of came about because I was trying out these distributions. I just had this long string of failures getting things to work. And, and even on real hardware too. I mean, some of these things I tried to spin up on real hardware just to is it the virtual machine that needs fix? I don't know. But anyway, uh, with that, let me know your thoughts. Uh, what are your favorite distributions? And do you, do you use small minor ones or do you stick with the major ones? Let me know which distributions you're using in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.